I'm just inside the portal now and getting ready to head into the mountain. See the uh, adit heading off ahead. Pretty crumbly material in here, as you can see, but I don't see a lot of ground fall other than just little bits and pieces, so hopefully it's not too bad. I can see uh, right in front here the uh, wooden rails that they would put the metal strips on top of uh, rather than using the full on metal rails, which are more expensive. You can see they continue here and actually you can see the metal strip still on top of this piece of wood see right there so it's nailed down that's what that was used for or that's how that was used and uh, you can see where the, the track ties were there meanwhile just continuing on yeah it doesn't look too bad like I said little bits and pieces where stuff's come down, but nothing, uh, nothing too bad yet, despite its uh, crumbly looking appearance. Talking about stuff like this. Got some of those uh, strips back. Looks like there's either some ground fall or something up here. I guess it's just ground fall from the side. And we're carrying on. Interesting uh, change in the rock here. I thought I would show you. All right. Still going on. It goes as straight for as far as I can see, so I'm not sure how deeply this punches into the mountain before they got to the ore that they were looking for. Interesting shape in the attic right now. It suddenly got tall and skinny. And a big pile of something here. Got some boards on the ground. And looks like we've got a cross cut heading off that way. I'll double check that in a minute. Of course it keeps going ahead. Looks like it bends pretty sharply there. Okay, and then there's a crosscut here that just stops right there. I think this probably just stops back here as well, so I'm just going to check. Yeah, uh, well... Uh, okay, yeah, it goes up there and, uh, and stops right there. So, let's keep going down that main one. All right, I'm back where that main uh, adit keeps running off that way. And there's some interesting mineralization here. I thought I'd point out for you geology lovers out there. And it looks like there's a raise headed up here. Yeah, so it runs up there. It looks like it peters out, but then overhead runs up. It looks like there might be something more up there, but I don't have any way to get there from here. Another look at some of the uh, minerals here. Like I said, it looked interesting geologically, so obviously the miners agreed since they started pushing out in different directions here. Just showing you the rock and such here. Alright, let's continue down this main out of here. rock is back here. Interesting looking. Looks like we are winding around a bit more. It's not so straight as it was before. Just showing you some of the rock here. That's quartz right there. As well as up here. So there's a fair amount going on here geologically. I already said. Okay, looks like we got our strip rail back. Right there, even at the tie there still. So, we keep running that way, and then the 
at it. Looks like a drift runs off this way. So let's see where this goes real quickly. Look, all right, the rock just changed again completely. It's got a blue color now, as you can see. And what's interesting is the, uh, the stuff on the floor does not match the rock we're in right now. So somebody must have uh, dumped that here, that taken from somewhere else. Okay, this looks like actually, actually runs for a little way. Definitely smells a bit like a rat back here. Or rats, plural, I should say. All right, it looks like this just peters out right there. That's the end there. And it looks like they uh, backfilled it a bit here. So I shall head back to that main adit and we shall continue down that way. That is the drift that we just finished checking out. And now we're going to continue heading down the main adit here, that way. And it looks like there's an ore chute right here, except this is one of the most unique ore chutes I've seen. For one thing, it's incredibly low right here. I'm crouched way down, and so it would have been awkward to load ore from, uh, from this ore chute here. But of more note, I think is the fact that they've got these old trees here as an integral component of the, uh, the ore shoot. That I have never seen before. I've never seen anything but processed wood using an ore shoot before. Of course, it's plugged up, as you can see, some cloth right there. And I'll get you a better view from the other side, perhaps. I mean, how cool is that? They went out, got some pine trees, and you can see the axe marks there. That wasn't done with any precision. Right, you know, it was for the standards of time, but I'm saying for modern uh, wood cutting, it's not that precise. But, uh, yeah, I can see they also braced against the side right here. So it's sort of like an ore chute and timbers combined. That is really interesting. I've never seen a structure like that before. Huh. And again, it's really low. My helmet's bumping against the top of the attic, or the back as they call it. Just showing you some of the quartz here next to this ore chute. So I imagine they were stoping some of this out. Uh, looking ahead, it gets really tight right there. little pocket there and like I said here it gets really tight getting over that pile <sighs> at least I can stand up again though uh, okay this is interesting so you can see they cleaned out a nice pocket in here it's looking up and then there's looking back to where that uh, that ore chute is that we just checked out so this stope right here uh, is what you know what we used to be in the stope right here was dumped down that ore chute that we just checked out so that's uh, nice to be able to connect all that in our mental maps and then I'm going to have to turn the camera off to squeeze through there. Okay, that's that tight section I just squeezed through. And if I didn't mention it before, that white rock in there, in that chamber where we were just checking out, that's all quartz. And uh, what I climbed through right there was all quartz. Really strong airflow through there, so that leads me to believe there's a fair amount more up ahead. You can see uh, a bunch of boards tossed in here. Uh, you know, made for timbers or lagging, who knows what. And 
looks like there's a bend or something up ahead. Okay, finally opened up again. There's a pocket they clean it out here. You can see some of the strip. And uh, there's some of the strip is nailed to the wood, as I keep mentioning. Looking ahead, we actually pick it up again. I'm referring to the strips. There's a stope here. That's a pretty large one, actually. Uh, runs up there. Unfortunately, again, I don't have a way to get up there. But that is, you can see the timber on the side too. That's a pretty good sized one there. All right, like I said, back at the strips. Carrying on, looks like I'm up a fault here. Even the flat, smooth side. Still running around through here. Bending and twisting a bit. See another bend up there. See all my quartz back here. Look, there's another uh, raise or stope right here. Looks like a raise. See how uh, it runs up there. Wouldn't be surprised if that was an ore pass. They dropped the ore from there and then down here to load up into a cart. More quartz, there's quartz all over the place here. Another bend. It was bending and twisting quite a lot now. Another little chamber here. We've passed several of these now. Interesting sparkly rock right here. Looks like quartz infused with something else. That's hard to say. And you can see uh, pick marks in that actually. Right there. A little pocket right here. I'm not sure if those were exploratory if, or if they were used to store stuff or a place for the miners to get out of the way when the ore carts are coming by. Hard to say. Looks like we got another raise. Straight up, yeah. It's a big raise here. Goes out there. I can't tell if it goes anywhere beyond that. But it's not an ore pass because that platform wouldn't be there if it was. Alright, um, well the tracks take a sharp bend here, that's fairly photogenic actually, and they continue that way, and these are actually real rails here, they probably needed those to be able to bend, and also there's this section running off that way, but we'll stick with the right hand rule. So, so looking at, it's almost like an old pair of Levi's right there. And of course, some people love those. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, right hand rule says we're going this way to the right. And wow, that goes quite a way. There's a bend coming up here. We've got the rail back. We've got something running off that way too. And I can see somebody was taking samples or something from in here. I'm not too surprised given the way that looks. For now, we'll stick with the right hand rule. I like rail anyway.
Another long straight corridor here. Pretty uh, intense mineral action back here. For those of you that like that sort of thing. Another long straight section. Going through this latest long straight section for a while. I thought it was interesting that we had the rail the whole way here. Seems like a skinnier rail than we had back there, but it could just be my perception. Much darker rock here. You can see it just keeps running. I have been walking for a while, but I thought that you would get bored with that, so I turned the camera off. I'm just checking back in. I've been walking for uh, several minutes, though, and it's just been these long, straight, at it, continuing like this. This is the most it's bent around since I last turned the camera off. I don't know if we're getting anywhere yet or not, but. I thought I'd check in and at least show you a feature that is other than long and straight. And it appears that we bend again up here. See the rocks changed again. It's more of a grayish brownish color again. This is a long one. I have to say that the waste rock pile outside does not accurately reflect how large this is. Yeah, it just keeps going. This is crazy. I'm still going. As I was saying before, you'd expect a monster waste rock pile outside, but it's a pretty modest waste rock pile. Especially considering how large this is. Looks like we have a junction here. And... I'm not sure that's old ventilation pipe or what. The uh, main attic keeps running that way to our left, runs back and it appears to stop right there. Let's check since it looks like we can see the end. There's a lot of this pipe back here. This looks like a definite fault to my left, given how flat and smooth that is. Oh, okay, this does not stop. All right, I'm gonna continue down the main one and we'll hit this one later on the way out. I'm gonna stick with the right hand rule. So there's that junction. That's the way we came. And uh, God knows what we have in front of us still. Cause it just keeps going. It looks like there's a sharp Bends to the left. I see a lot of gobbing there. Some of it has come down, as you can see, but there's quite a lot stick stacked there. Excuse me. It would appear that there might actually be a backfilled drift running back there. See what I mean? If you look, it looks like it carries on. And speaking of carrying on, this does exactly that. It carries on. And on and on and on. I, I gotta say, I'm really stunned by how far this runs back. I really didn't expect this. And we haven't even explored any of the side uh, drift yet. I see some timbers up here, old timbers to be sure, the old wooden, well they're all wooden, well not all of them, some of them are steel, but what I meant by that is the raw, unprocessed timbers. That one looks like it's under a little bit of pressure, I see it bowing a bit right there. I love these old timbers.
numbers. I don't know what those pencil marks. I guess maybe those were years, hard to say. But it's pretty cool to see how that was hacked out with the axe. Over here as well. So it's notched right there, so it fits together. Pretty cool. Very uh, rectangular shaped at it now that we're in. Of course, it's still going. Not sure what the purpose of that was, except maybe to hold the rail in place there. Although I didn't take too close of a look at it. Appears to be a raise right here. There's looking up. Obviously there's something up there, but again, I don't have a ladder with me, so I don't have any way to get up there. And that's a good 25, 30 feet up anyway, so you need a hell of a ladder to get up there. I see some more timber work here. Cool fault on the left that leads right up into that timber work. That's pretty neat. Ah, looks like there's a winds on the left. That's why I spend a fair amount of time looking down on the ground rather than up, so sometimes I miss stuff that's up. But I also don't fall into holes like that. It's like an old, maybe that's hemp even, old rope right there. And I think this is a false floor here. Yeah, that sure felt like a false floor. Looking down, uh, that looks like it's plugged at the bottom. Looks, I can see the remains of a ladder. I don't know if you can see this at home, but I can see the remains of a ladder there. And, uh, oh, okay, I know I understand what's going on. So the remains of the ladder down there, and then you see the notches in this uh, board right there. That's where the rails were, and so these are supports that the rails were on, and so they would have hauled a skip car up along those rails there to here. Um, so I don't, there must have been some kind of winch or something right there. You know, they were holding it out on that rope or something. Interesting. That's that's an old operation. And there's an ore chute right here. That's another one that's got that raw, unprocessed wood incorporated into it. Very, very unusual. Fortunately, we can look straight up the ore chute for where they're dumping stuff down. It looks like it just stops right there, actually. It doesn't look like it was that big. Really cool ore chute, though. Yeah, see, it's not plugged or anything. I have had a gate at one time, but not anymore. The uh, adit were traveling down forever. Ben's there. Looks like they might have backfilled some right there. Just a quick look back at that uh, ore chute, because I'm quite taken with these raw uh, support timbers that are incorporated into it. Look as good when I shine the lights on it. All right, uh, that continues to head that way. We are at another junction here, so something runs off to the left as well. I am just staggered by how large this mine is. These look like backfill drifts here, where this gobbing is. All right, on the right-hand rule means carrying on ahead. There is, uh, I just noticed a pickup in the airflow. So, I'm not sure what this leads to. But I'm curious to find out a bunch of mangled strips back here. You can see a spacer for the rail. Another, uh, I think that stops there, but I thought that last time and I was mistaken. I'll take my chances. Yeah, maybe that 
ran out at one time, but that's mostly caved and backfilled now. I also think that's where the air is coming from, so I'm gonna check that on the way out. All right, that's the little one I started down, but decided to save for later. Carrying on down this main at it. We've been following forever. Interesting mineral zone again. Looks like another backfilled drift right here. You see the old school support timber there. And we continue on, and on, and on. All right. We run back there, and it looks like we stop there. I don't feel any breeze or anything, so that probably does stop. I'll take a chance this time and assume that it does. Yes. All right, so that one, we can actually cross off the list. That one is done. Going ahead, I saw like fairly extensive timbering. Now this is interesting because they don't have anything on the right. They brace it here and run it up. Oh wow, look at that splitting right there. That's a little disconcerting. I can see why that's timbered. Huh. Um, Anyway, as I was saying, they, uh, they brace the left here, but not the right up here as well. That's obviously under pressure there. That's going to be a tight fit getting through that. It's a bit dodgy. And it looks like we lose it up here, actually. Yes, we do. So, there's some miners graffiti for you. Old timbers to check out. Obviously, this is very bad ground. My voice isn't echoing at all. This is it. Looks intentional right there, though. That looks like it was uh, stacked up there on purpose. Huh. Still got those natural timbers. All right, we will... Uh, the nails across right there. We'll head back and check out those we passed on the way in. I am still back in this section, and as I was making my way out, I realized I had passed this uh, old magazine or newsprint here, and sometimes... Those can be very interesting. I see an advertisement for the National Lead Company, and that has been defunct for quite a while. Now it's called NL Industries, but has been called National Lead for a long time. She's talking about the Dutch Boy paint. And this looks like a fiction story. Uh, I don't see a date, but just because it says National Lead, I know that's old. 